a certain experiment has three possible outcomes. The outcomes are mutually exclusive, meaning they do not overlap, they are separate. You can either have one of the two, three. There's either A, B, or C. And therefore, when you add those up, those are the only possibilities, they will equal one, which is the same as 100%. So one of these will occur, therefore, add them all up, one of them will definitely occur, they have to equal 100% or one. So when we're dealing with probability, you're dealing a fraction. With a fraction of a probability, you're dealing not with percent, 100%, but with either decimals or, as we have here, fractions. So what do we have? We add these up, we have P plus P over 2 plus P over 4, and we know that, hey, these are equal to 1. Now the question is, what is the value of P? We can just solve by multiplying both sides by 4. Why 4? Because I want to get rid of these numbers below here, and that's the lowest common denominator here is 4. So what do we do? Multiply both sides by 4. That's the key. We end up getting, we distribute that 4, so I get 4P plus 2P plus P. The other side I multiply by 4, so I end up getting 4. That gives me 7P equals 4. P is equal to 4 over 7. And that's it. Answer choice D.